You know, when you take a look at the exterior right now, right? Close your eyes and envision in just a few short months, this is gonna be a booming craft brewery. Does that like blow your mind to think, wow, from concept to almost reality? Yeah, I mean, we've been working on this for almost a year and a half, Gil Holland and I. And, but yeah, I think when we open as the first legal brewery in Harlan County, um, it's really gonna shock people, even though they've been seeing the progress all along. And, you know, we think, and, and the people around here are saying, this is gonna be a game changer. Um, and so, you know, we try to be modest and conservative, but, you know, when you put in something like this in a place like Harlan, it can really change hearts and minds about a, a place. And so we're just very excited. So take us through, why a beer company right in the middle <laughs> of Harlan, where are we at, Central and First? Yep, Central yeah. and First, right on Courthouse Square. It's the most prominent building in downtown Harlan. Um, a long history as an appliance store, as a dance hall, as a, as a synagogue um, on the second wow. floor, yeah. um, and had been sat vacant for 15 years. Um, and it was really Gil Holland, you know, who said, Harlan County Beer Company, he sent me an email and that's the title of it, and it had the logo. And I said, that sounds crazy, but why not? Mm -hmm. um, and we looked at some different buildings, and he said, no, you know, he and I visited several times. His father uh, was born in Lynch in Harlan County, and he said, no, this is the building. This right. is the one that we want to do this in. And I think, you know, in talking with Gil, you know, he and I both agree, the first thing a place needs is a coffee shop. You know, all good revolutions start, start in a coffee shop, um, and then they get carried on and carried through at the pub and the brewery. Right. Um, and so what we're trying to bring here is, you know, of course the brewery is what everyone wants to talk about. They want to talk about the beer and the brew system, but we're also going to be a really good sit down restaurant. You know, we're going to be one of the best sit down restaurants with the best service you can get in Eastern Kentucky. So you're going to come for not only the beer if you drink, and that's fine if you don't, but you're going to get farm fresh food delivered with great service to you here. You mentioned Gil Holland. He's your partner yeah. in this project. And for folks in Louisville, we all know his name because, you know, he, he said New Lou's going to be the big place. And yeah. it is the big place to go visit. So you had to have a lot of trust in knowing you're like, really, Gil, a brewery right here? And and believe his, his vision for what this could be. Yeah, I mean, when you have somebody like Gil on board, you know, I, my wife, and I own and run a few businesses and we've renovated some downtown historical uh, buildings here in Harlan and other places in Eastern Kentucky. So I knew what that was about, but we had never taken on anything that is as big as, as opening a brewery. Obviously there's a lot of upfront capital costs, but you know, Gil, uh, I met him a number of years ago, bringing entrepreneurs from Eastern Kentucky to Louisville. And he talked about his vision of economic development balanced with community development and how when you take old buildings and you renovate them, you spend 75% of your costs on labor and 25% on materials. When you build a new building, it's flipped. And to me, that immediately resonated because one, we were already doing it, but two, jobs. Yeah. You know, So not only were we creating jobs and renovating this building right here in Harlan County, but we're gonna create sustained jobs once it opens up. So what is it gonna look like inside once it's yeah, complete? Yeah, sure, so you're gonna walk in and you're gonna immediately see these 12 inch by 12 inch timber posts that are the trees were probably alive when George Washington was president and those will be exposed you'll see those in the back part of the the building will be the brew system um that'll be behind glass walls you'll be able to see it all exposed there'll be a long l-shaped bar um, on the left side um, and we'll have that'll be made out of reclaimed wood from the building um, with uh, some of the tin that we had uh, from uh, the ceiling that we, we took and reclaimed a lot of that old tin ceiling. Um, and we're gonna have that up against the bar. We'll have some banquettes uh, sitting on the glass windows. I mean, the windows wrap all the way around uh, Main Street, or I'm sorry, Central and First and the Courthouse Square. So, you know, and then hopefully at some point we would like to have some outdoor seating. We'll see how that goes. Um, and we'll have expanded seating up on the second floor. Um, for private parties and things like that. And then, you know, the third phase is Airbnb, beautiful apartments up on the third floor. So you can come, come for the beer, stay for the mountains, do some hiking and have everything you need right here in downtown Harlan. Love it. Can't wait to see the finished product. We'll come back and have a beer with you. Right? Well, yes, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you have to. For more information or to follow along with our journey, go to harlancountybeer.com.